Okay, so this is a mending plate, and these mending plates are glued behind this shutter. Um, there's a couple in there right there. And then the shutter is placed on top of it so you can't see. And then wire is pushed through these mending plates. And I will show you on the other side how that attaches. I also put a hole here for this cut to come out to hook to a speaker so we could hear the witch. Um, also you can see is I have a whole bunch of these uh, hinges and you just pull the pins out and that's how the whole thing comes apart. Additionally, another way this attaches so well is it, it's fitted so tight that, that it kind of has a lot of things to sit on and the, and the tightness of it also helps keep it in place. Okay, I'm gonna show you one thing. So I have these screws already in my hardy plank because I normally have, let's see another one right over there. I normally have um, a window box already here. So they've been there for like 15 years. So when I was putting all things up, up, I just kind of like hit the foam board as hard as I could to make a couple holes exactly where they needed to be. And you can see right here, there we go. I just added washers on top of them. So they, they hooked to those as well. So it was another way that it attached. And then I put up those command strips. I don't know if they did any good or just made me feel better about it. Okay, so here is the inside. So there's the window where the witch was. This is the inside. And I kept this cracked open all month long. It normally just down to here, but I opened it up so you could see it. So on the other side of the foam, I glued a thin piece of wood and attached it with construction adhesive. And then on the other side, I have two mending, a mending plate here and a mending plate here. And then the wire runs through and then comes onto this board and wraps around the board. Um, I was going to drill holes in here, but it ended up just being easier to wrap it around. And the board sits on the windowsill, and I added like these little felt pads here, and there's one on the inside here on both sides, just to protect the paint. And that's how it pulls this direction towards me um, to hold it um, against the wall, just like that. Super easy. But what I did on the inside as well is I glued on um, light switch covers, um, three of them. And then I cut um, with the hot knife into the foam. Um, the light switch covers are just attached with Gorilla Glue. And then I have those command strips, each of them hooked to the window. So there's three of them. So there's three on each window and one in the middle window and the the panel itself, the foam, just comes up and slides on top of it. So that's another way it's attached. Here's a better shot, so there's not the glare of the window, of my um, little contraption here that I made with the light switch covers and you can keep, see up inside. And so, hold on, I have these all over my hands. Okay, so you can see how they just slide up. And so this side sticks to the window. Okay, so here's all the pieces that went up on there. So they all break down so I can stack them nice and neat Tetris style on a shelf in my garage for storage. I'll probably, we haven't had any rain, so I'm not super worried about them being dried out. But if it had rained recently, I'd probably let them dry for a few days before I would stack them just out of abundance of caution of not getting any mold. Okay, here's my really classy construction up here. <laughs> Again, I am not a craftsman. I am a creative problem solver. So all the pieces are again put together with hinges and they come apart so I can store this thing. Um, we added, these are all just sandbags for weight. We added a sorry bad filming strap around the entire thing a tie down um we did that though right before the storm came in because it said it would have 40 to 70 mile an hour gusts and so that was 
just in case. Um, I've also had zip ties in certain places just for good measure. Um, I came up and added a few more again for good measure um, with that windstorm. Okay, so the entire thing, you see this, this bolt has a washer, a washer glued to the other side. And then the other side is where it comes through. And I have a thin piece of wood painted green and to, to match everything else. And it comes through. So it can't rip through because of the piece of wood that's glued on. Um, the same goes for, the, there, there are a lot of different places. Sorry, this is like kind of chaotic. There's another one there and another one here. So there's only like four that actually connect to this wood frame. Um, the other bolts that are in there are holding other pieces that are connected on top. Um, okay, you see these nuts and bolts and washers? Those push all the way through from the front piece onto the back that just kind of acts like a frame for the entire thing. Um, I can just have a washer in the front, sandwiched in the middle and in the back, and it held them held them tight. And I'll show you that better when I pull the whole thing so down. I'm up here filming, and what the crap is that? <sighs> okay, so you can see this piece right here normally went on this piece right here, and there's the washers I was talking about. So those just connect with a nut and a bolt into those. And then this piece is also connected with more hinges. And there's a Velcro there for good measure. And also, because when you were putting it up, you kind of put, the, put it on the Velcro and it holds it in place for just a second so you can put the nuts and bolts in. And this whole piece is connected with nuts and bolts as well. I'll take that apart. And this is the same situation over here. As you can see, it's starting to come apart. Okay, you can see in the moon where the tape is. That's the wire. Or the wire's right there. I tried to cover up with the tape. Next year, I think I'm gonna do something different because the wire's like green. Um, but the moon is actually a thin piece of that like masonite wood cut out and glued in there, again with Gorilla Glue. And then those wires come through and tie to my poles um, on the other side. My wood beams, I should say. Um, that are part of the house and I'll show you that from the other direction and here's a better look at the wood I was talking about um, Sorry, there's a glare. There we go. The wood I was talking about that's cut inside that moon just perfectly and There's wire there. There's wire there and there's wire here with the amending plate that went through onto the other side and connected to my beams all right, so you can see there's my wire coming through and it hooks on these beams in different places. And it looks like I forgot to put a mending plate on that one. I need to fix that. But that's where the moon is, is right on the other side of that. That's a wire. Okay, so here's all the pieces. You can see it's not as pretty when it's all apart but all the pieces that make up the roof piece um and also this folds in half right here so i'll show you that in just a second after it's i don't have enough arms hold on okay so the whole thing folds in half i could take the pins out but i actually think i want to just try and fold that in half and put it on top of everything else um yeah kind of there you go, you get the picture.